leaving groups at allylic and benzylic positions typically undergo relatively rapid substitution reactions, whether by SN1 or SN2 mechanisms. In the video on carbocation stability, we discussed how resonance stabilizes allylic and benzylic carbocations by distributing the carbocation's positive charge over multiple atoms. This speeds up SN1 reactions pretty significantly, so secondary or even primary carbocations, which are typically quite slow to form if they form at all, are formed more rapidly if they are allylic or benzylic. In addition to speeding up SN1 reactions, there's one additional implication of the stability of allylic carbocations. Because the positive charge in these cations is distributed over two different carbon atoms, we sometimes see mixtures of products because the nucleophile can attack either of those two carbon atoms. For instance, if this allylic bromide just leaves, the resulting carbocation has two resonance structures. An incoming nucleophile is attracted to both positively charged sites, and depending on which site it actually collides with, there are two possible products. While there are ways to favor one product over the other in some circumstances, that's beyond the scope of this course. Luckily, this is only an issue for allylic leaving groups. Benzylic carbocations don't undergo substitution on the benzene ring, owing to benzene's special stability, also a topic for a later class. It turns out that allylic and benzylic leaving groups also undergo faster than expected SN2 reactions, even though these reactions don't involve carbocations, so there's no intermediate to stabilize by resonance. But when we measure the rates of SN2 reactions of allylic and benzylic leaving groups, we see that they're substantially faster than analogous leaving groups that aren't allylic or benzylic. This must mean that the activation energy barrier for the SN2 reaction at allylic and benzylic sites is somehow lowered, which implies that the transition states for allylic and benzylic SN2 reactions are stabilized. The explanation for this phenomenon is a little tricky and involves us thinking closely about the structure of the transition state. Remember that the transition state is the halfway point in the SN2 reaction, in which the nucleophile is approaching, the leaving group is in the process of leaving, and the other three groups on the central carbon are in the midst of their umbrella flip, their inversion of configuration. At this point, these three groups are arranged in a trigonal planar geometry, which implies that here in the transition state, this central carbon is sp2 hybridized. Therefore, the central carbon has an unhybridized p orbital for just a split second in the middle of the reaction. We know from our discussion of carbocations that p orbitals can be stabilized by adjacent orbitals that overlap with them. And in the case of the benzylic and allylic systems, there's a filled pi bond right next door that can stabilize that p orbital and therefore stabilize the transition state. This effect the side-to-side -side overlap of p orbitals in a transition state is called conjugation in the transition state and is responsible for the especially rapid SN2 reactions of allylic and benzylic leaving groups.